All right, now here's another great accessory here. This is the inverter here, so you can do vacuum chucking on the Revo lathe here. So let's go ahead and we'll pull this out and I'll show you where this mounts. Okay, here's our vacuum inverter. Right here, here's the mounting bracket. This is our rotary adapter bearing. Check, nothing else in the box. I'll set it to the side. Let's open up the bracket first. Okay, I've got all the pieces lined up. Let's go ahead and install them. First, let's take our bracket. It's going to mount right here on these back holes on the back of the headstock, just like this. And this will go right above our VFD. Now, to make this installation as easy as possible, take the bracket and mount it to the bottom here of the inverter first. Now, take the, the front plate and mount it toward the gauge side here. So, we'll put this on the bottom. And we're going to install the hardware. And you can leave these loose in case you need to position it while it's on the lathe. Just leave them finger tight. You can run them down a little bit, but just don't uh, tighten it all the way down. So that way we can have some forward and aft adjustment on this here. I'll go ahead and tighten those finger tight. Let's take the other two bolts, put them through here, and now let's go to the headstock. Okay. Up onto the back, and let's start these two bolts. All right, I've got this mounted to the headstock, and I just snugged up the box here to the bracket. And this is one area we're using kind of a long uh, extension Allen wrench with a short extension is great for you. The space on that is a little bit tight. Using one of these is great. If you have a ball end, even so much the better. All right, now that we've got this installed, let's go ahead and install the rotary adapter. And this is called a rotary adapter because there's a rotary bearing inside here, and you can kind of see that this thing spins as I'm holding the hose. And what that allows us to do is to pull a vacuum through the hollow headstock. The headstock is threaded and it's hollow and we can use this for vacuum chucking. And we're gonna show you that in the next section here. But we'll thread this into the end. You see that we've already got the Teflon tape applied there for you. Thread it in finger tight here. We're gonna get a wrench and put this on. And then our hose will simply go into the bottom here and that'll press in place and allow us to maintain a vacuum right through the headstock. Let me get a wrench and we'll tighten this down. Now that we've got the vacuum inverter installed and the rotary adapter, you can see that the entire spindle will turn and this hose isn't spinning because we've got the bearing here. And this will supply the vacuum signal needed right through here so we can go through and uh, actually vacuum chuck different pieces. Now there's an adjuster on the back here so we can adjust the amount of vacuum. There's also an air line fitting right here so you can plug this into your shop's compressed air. And inside there's a vacuum generator that actually creates the vacuum needed to use the vacuum chuck.